Does 5 plus 5 equal 10? These are two Apple 5 watt charging bricks, and this is a cable with two USB ports on it. And with it, I've been able to show you charging one iPhone with two chargers at the exact same time. But does 5 plus 5 equal 10? Does it actually transfer more power? Well, allow me to test that theory. And yes, this is for a circular disk drive I had when I was little. It broke, but I kept the cable for some reason. Grab my USB ports, plug them in. We're gonna need to turn mini USB into micro USB, micro USB into Apple Lightning, and then Apple Lightning into USB-C. So I can plug this thing in the middle that'll show how much power we're drawing and then at the very end USB-C to lightning to plug in to that phone and the problem is this micro USB to lightning adapter is like 99% broken so it only works at like specific angles anyway let's plug it in and then make sure we hold it at a specific angle come on I gotta figure out that angle there it goes it's actually glitching it out guys it's not supposed to be glitching out uh oh did I just break this it wasn't broken five minutes ago oh and now it's fine I see. It's charging it at just under 5 watts. I don't think this iPhone can eat more than 5 watts at once. Looking at 4.5 watts, if I unplug one of the chargers, it's the exact same. Let's plug that charger back in and unplug this other charger. Does that number change? Look, it's the same. But if I unplug the last charger, of course, it, it turns off. But no, it did not feed it 10 watts. What if we use a more modern phone, such as the last one to ever have Apple Lightning, the iPhone 14 Pro? Max. Plug in the Max. Obviously, um, much larger than the iPhone 5S. Plug in Charger 1. It's charging this phone, actually. It's feeding it less than a watt. It, it's going up. What if we plug in the other charger? I guess in the iPhone 14 Pro Max's case, 5 plus 5 is actually about 3.5. What do you guys think I should do with this cable next?